In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these really cute fold out suns that show the stages of a solar eclipse. So to make it, you're going to need some white, yellow and black card or paper, scissors and glue, some round things to draw around. So I've got one large one, which is a glass, and then a smaller one, which is a lid, but you could also use something like a coin for that. A ruler, a pencil and a pen. And then optional, I've got some of these yellow pipe cleaners or fuzzy sticks and googly eyes. First thing you're going to need to do is create the sun for the outside. So you'll take your yellow piece of card and then draw around the outside of the glass so that you've got a yellow circle. And then you'll need to cut that out. So cut around the edge and that's going to make the big yellow sun for our fold out the top and the bottom. So once you've cut around the outside of your sun, you're going to need to fold it in half. So just fold it across like that, press down and then cut along that line that you've just made that fold to create two equal sized halves. That's going to be the top and the bottom. So I'll put the yellow card to one side for a moment. And then I've got some pre-glued googly eyes that I'm just going to stick on the top half there and then pop that one side to dry. And then on the bottom half, I'm just going to add a little smile, a little optional smile. Pop that to one side. Next part is to make the centre of the fold out, the white bit that you're going to reveal as you open and close your sun. So we need the white card and you're going to want to make it, this middle bit, the same width as your sun edge. So I'm just going to mark that onto the card just so I know how wide to do it. And then use your ruler to draw a large rectangle. So I'm going to make my rectangle 24 centimetres across. And the reason I'm going to do 24 centimetres is because I'm going to need to fit in these circle shapes. So I know that they're, these ones that I've chosen are three centimetres across. So I'm going to want each section to be four centimetres across to accommodate that. So it depends on the size of your small circle, really. So I've made a rectangle that's 24 centimetres and then I'm going to mark out six sections and each section is going to be equal sized. So it's going to be four centimetres. And then just create those six rectangles. Once you've done that, you'll also want to add just a little tab, and it doesn't have to be neat, on the top and bottom, because you'll need something to stick your sunshine halves on a little bit later. So you're going to have your six equal rectangles and then a tab on each side. And once you've got that, it will be time to add our suns and moons in. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five moons and we're going to need four yellow suns. And the easiest way to do that is I'm going to fold a piece of black paper in half and then I'm going to draw around my lid cut around the circle that I've drawn. So these are going to be my moons. And because I folded the paper, I've got four of them rather than just one. 
I need five. So I'm just going to do one more on the end there. Okay, so we've got five moons there. Now we want to make our suns. So I've got my yellow card. And then again, I'm going to fold it into four pieces, or four parts. Use my lid, draw around the outside, take the scissors and cut them out. One, two, three, four, and five. So you will have noticed from my finished example that there are five stages in the solar eclipse, but we've got six boxes um, to that so that it folds properly. It needs an even number of boxes in the middle. So I'm just going to use that top box to write solar eclipse. And then I'm going to use the five boxes below to arrange my suns and moons. So the first stage of the solar eclipse, I'm going to pop the sun in the middle there. And then the moon just starting to overlap. So they're just touching. Second stage, sun's in the same place. The moon is now covering almost all of the sun. So you've just got this very thin crescent there. Third stage. We've got our total eclipse, so the sun has been blocked out. And then the next stage, the moon is starting to move away, revealing that little crescent of sun again. And then last, the moon has moved away and the sun is shining again and it's light. So once you've got your stages in order, it's then... Time to glue. It's always best to make sure that they're all in the right places before you add any glue. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on each of the circles, stick them in place, and we will be writing on here as well what each stage is called. Sun. Moon. So the sun is still there on the third stage, we just can't see it. It's completely hidden. And then, last of all, got the moon moving away from the sun. And then with this box here, I'm just going to add, using my yellow colouring pencil, a little tiny yellow circle around the outside because during a total eclipse, you can just see the sun's atmosphere or corona. So now those are all glued down, we can write what the stages are called. So this one here is called first contact. This one is called second contact. And we've got totality, third contact, and then last of all, fourth contact. Once all our stages are complete, then we can cut around the outside of our template. And we're going to need to make sure that we include those tabs on the top. Those are very important for being able to put everything together. 
So around your six rectangles and around the tabs at the top and bottom. So once you've cut everything out, then we're going to add those sun halves that we created earlier by placing some glue on the top there and adding the sun half that has the eyes, the googly eyes, if you've chosen to use them. And then at the bottom, the sun half with the smiley mouth. And then at this point, you're probably going to want to let that dry before you start folding because otherwise bits and pieces are going to get stuck together. So pop that to one side and then you can bring it back out to fold when it's dry. Once your glue is dry, then it's time to fold and there's different ways you can do this but I usually start with the top and the bottom and I just fold those sun halves back and then you're just going to need to fold the middle section like a concertina along those along those lines that you drew with the pencil just pressing them down particularly if you're using card to get a good shape so just folding backwards and forwards it's a little bit fiddly but once you've folded all of those sections you'll have your sun that opens up to reveal your solar eclipse inside and then you can close it back down again to show off your little sun. And if you want to, you can add some sun's rays. So I've cut some of these yellow pipe cleaners. I'm probably just going to use six little bits. And I'm going to use sellotape and pop them onto the back. So turn it over and then just put three on the one half and three on the other just to give it a bit of extra character. Got one, two, and three on the, is that the bottom half or the top half? The bottom half. And then turn it over and then do another three. One, two, Three. And the good thing about these is you can adjust them slightly. If they don't look quite symmetrical or if they're sticking up at a funny angle, you can just move them, move them around a little bit so they look a little bit more even. In fact, that one looks like a little bit long, so I'm just going to give it a, a trim. And then your fold out is finished. And if you want to try one that's not so much cutting and sticking, here's one where you colour the stages and then sequence them on your template. So they're like labels to stick. And I've got templates for those in my TPT and Etsy stores. So I'll drop the link in the comments if you prefer to do it that way instead of the, sort of the crafty way. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy making your solar eclipse fold outs.